person who represents Ireland best at the moment is, I think he's fitting for the job is uh, Leo Varadkar because the new change in, he represents the new change in Ireland. And I think Mary Robinson before that when she was president of Ireland she represented the new. Uh, she called it the new pluralist tolerant art that she wanted to, to encompass, you know. Right. And I think Michael D. Higgins is fit for the job because like, he's he's smart, he's intelligent, you know, he's he's a, he's an academic, he's a poet, he's just needed for the job as presidency. Leo Varadkar is Taoiseach more because of who uh, he is, like someone who's, you know, from a, a mixed, um, or, you know, his father is Indian, if I recall, uh, so and who's openly gay again, I think that's just, that's great. Michael D. Higgins is a fair example, and Leo Varadka are fair examples of the diversity, uh, yet the modern thinking that this country is trying to come to terms with and has come to terms with to a large degree, not entirely, but to a large degree in say the last 10 to 20 years, certainly. I suppose there's a lot of people. Leo Varadka seems to be very good at the moment. Anyone else? Uh, um, oh gosh, there are so many I can't even think of. <laughs> the Healy Rays, I'm a Kerry woman, so okay. we'll say that. Great admiration for uh, Mary McAleese. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Or is... mm, degree of admiration for uh, the current president, um, Michael D. Higgins. I've, uh, I, I, I think Leo Varadkar has a lot going for him if he were um, a bit more um, so socialist in his okay. views. Um, I would definitely say uh, our new Taoiseach, Leo Varadkar. Um, I think he's brought a very optimistic and bright kind of um, slant on our future. Um, <laughs> 2017. Um, well, my favourite person at the moment would be Jim Gavin. Well, to me, it's someone like um, Peter Calvin, uh, the Tyrone footballer who finished his playing days on Sunday after being beaten by Dublin. Uh, he gave it all for his career. His career was winding down. He said goodbye and walked away into the sunset. And I think it, it, it's an example to everybody is, you know, you give your all when you can and when it's time to move on, you move on. Oh, I suppose we'd have to give it to Colin, wouldn't we, Mr. McGregor? <laughs> I suppose. Probably the Dublin team. Okay. As a as a whole. Uh, Evan, the okay. Conscience, yeah, the way he looks after people. Uh, so I do Irish dancing. So my dancing teacher is Brendan Degali. He used to be the lead dancer in um, River Dance. Okay. And um, he's teaching dancing full time, and he's um, doing lots of performances and different shows, traveling around Ireland and further abroad. I think uh, definitely. I think the uh, marriage equality referendum, um, which I wasn't particularly particularly close to but just how it was done as well it was a very well done campaign and it was very uh, collaborative and very open to people who also people who disagreed with it we didn't we wanted a different outcome it was done very in a very mature way I thought which is great the Patrick Sade parade I've when I was a kid it was let's just say modest <laughs> it's wonderful to see what a, a fantastically organized event with people from all around the world that has become um, and I think I'd sort of the arts sector, like there's kind of 24 7 every year round, there's really, really quality festivals happening across the country. Um, I think these are not specific. I think quality, I've recently was abroad again and talking to people and saying, like, the quality of food and the outside experience in Ireland is just so good now. Like, you can get good food everywhere, healthy food everywhere. Um, I think there's a lot to show off. Uh, response to the Celtic Tiger implosion uh, it's mixed. Um, but I don't particularly agree with all of the policy decisions that were made, but I think uh, that there was at least a willingness to kind of move ahead. I think that was very positive.